Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at why people stuck one hand in their jackets in old photographs. Conveying calm assurance, the practice of placing one hand in the inside of a top garment is ancient, dating back to before people even wore jackets, at least as we think of them. In the 6th century BC, it was considered rude in some Greek circles to speak with the hands outside of the clothing, especially when conducting matters of state. As Aeschines said in his famous speech against Timarchus from 346 BC, and so decorous were those public men of old, Pericles, 495 to 429 BC, and Aristides from 530 to 468 BC, that to speak with the arm outside the cloak, as we all do nowadays as a matter of course, was regarded then as an ill-mannered thing, and they carefully refrained from doing it. And I can point to a piece of evidence which seems to me very weighty and tangible. I'm sure you have all sailed over to Salamis and have seen the statue of Sholon, 638 to 558 BC, there. You can therefore yourselves bear witness that in the statue that is set up in the Salamian marketplace, Sholon stands with his arm inside his cloak. Now this is a reminiscence, fellow citizens, and an imitation of the posture of Sholon, showing his customary bearing as he used to address the people of Athens. By Aeschines's time, however, the custom had fallen out of fashion and was seemingly not revived in the Western world again until around the 18th century. In the early 1700s, portraitists like Jonathan Richardson, 1667 to 1745, were beginning to apply painting theory to their realistic images, identifying in his essay on the theory of painting from 1725 that the sitter's general appearance, air and body language attitude were the keys to an excellent portrait, Richardson and his contemporaries began looking to classical orators and the postures used in ancient statuary for their inspiration. Wishing to convey that the sitter was both of good humor and suitably elevated in character, the pose of hand-in was soon adopted. Ironically, it became so popular among the English ruling class because they thought it conveyed them in a manner deemed agreeable and without affectation. Godfrey Kneller's self-portrait from 1710 was an early example of the fad, and soon most well-known portraitists were employing the attitude. Richardson himself painted Horace Walpole, 1734-35, while perhaps the most famous English portraitist, Thomas Gainsborough, 1727-1788, had his hand in pocket for self-portrait from 1759. In fact, one fashionable portraitist, Thomas Hudson, from 1701 to 17. Used the gesture so frequently that people questioned whether or not he was even capable of painting hands. Not solely an English fad, artists across Europe at the time used the pose, including Spain's Francisco de Goya, 1746 to 1828, Giacomo Ceruti, 1697 to 1767, of Lombardy, Francis Jean Baptiste Perrineau, 1715 to 1783, and Jean Etienne Lyotard, 1702 to 1789, of Switzerland. I apologize if I screwed any of those names up, that was really difficult. Of course, perhaps the most famous portraits where hand in waistcoat is employed are of Napoleon Bonaparte, 1769 to 1821, including Portrait of Napoleon Bonaparte, First Council from 1804 by Jean Auguste Dominique Ancq, 1780 to 1867. There are also numerous other depictions of Napoleon which show him with hand in pocket. The stance remained popular with the advent of photography, and hand in pocket images can be found of American weapons inventor. Samuel Colt, 1814 to 1862, author of the Communist Manifesto, Karl Marx, 1818 to 1883, and U.S. Major General George B. McClellan. The practice fell out of favor at the end of the 19th century for the most part, although it was still occasionally used in the 20th century, including by Joseph Stalin, 1878 to 1953, in this photograph from 1948. So I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.